Yo, bag, what up? Yo, what up, bro? The certified speaker was popping, my G. Yeah, what's going on, man? What's up, 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 uh man, the new single going crazy right now. Uh see what I'm saying. Uh, I mean, you got the CMG project out right now. How's it feel to I mean, bro, you got another one. I mean, what more could I say? You got another one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just I'm just I'm just hustling right now. I'm just instead of prep blah, instead of pushing and pressing, you know what I'm saying? Keeping the smack down, laying the smack down, you know what I'm saying? You gotta keep the hustle going, like you can't never stop. They waiting on you to stop. You gotta stay consistent. Bro, I respect it, and I'm glad we got to see a little bit of your personal life. Uh, you've been doing the, uh, you, you've taking us in the bag with, with the TikToks and stuff. Uh, it's really dope to see how you go about your day to day, but still make time and do the family thing. Um, do you, have, it, it, man? Like at this point, nobody has an excuse. I mean, you you go from a jet to to see your daughter back on the jet, do your thing, and still make it back home. I mean, bro, does it ever tire you at at any point? Now, of course, you're going to have days you got to be like, all right, now I'm going to take these two days, I'm going to rest, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to chill, but then I'm back at it, you know what I'm saying? You can't lay down too much, you know what I'm saying? You can't, like, ain't nothing going to happen until you laying down, going to sleep. Ain't nothing, you ain't going to see no progress like that. So you got to stay hustling, but at the same time, your mental health and your health, you know what I'm saying? You need that, so you got to take some days off or two, one or two days. I want to say more than, i take one day off. I really, i take some hours off and get back at it. I ain't tripping. Yeah. <laughs> Me personally. I don't want to miss nothing. Now you got, you know, you got family that count on you. Obviously, you got fans that, you know, that rock with you heavy. Uh, what does Moneybag do for himself? What What do you do to unwind? Take that day. Oh, I like to shop. I like to shop. It's therapeutic to me. Uh, I like to shop. I like to travel. Go get just clear water. Go see some clear water. Travel. You know what I'm saying? I like to um, listen to different genres of music. Um, and different stuff like that. I like to think outside the box. Like when I got time to do it, I like to do it. That's cool. Now, now you say you listen to different genres of music. What's like a a genre like most fans, you know, wouldn't know that you'd be into? Like, what are your guilt? What's like a guilty pleasure, you know, vibe for you? Uh, I like to listen to like the instruments, like with jazz. I listen to jazz, like the, the just the instruments and stuff like that. Then I like to listen to um. R&B for sure, you know what I'm saying? I got my different type of R&B music. Um, really just anything that just bright and just have just have a good feeling and whether it's bright or not, it can be it can be soothing. It can be soothing just like a Janae Eco voice or Summer Walker or something just, you feel me? Like just a different vibe than rap. Copy that. Now, Bag, you got the, um, you know, CMG just dropped the project, uh, Gangsta Art. Man, it's just an amazing compilation with all you guys together. Uh, was that the first time like y'all ever like been together in the studio, like as the entire like label, or were y'all kind of just sending verses in? Yeah, that's what we did. Cause you know everybody busy, everybody moving, so we really weren't even in the studio, like making it, like making it together for real. Everybody was just sending stuff in, and you get on this, bro. You do this, Facetime, chopping it up. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Oh, but definitely the presence was felt when y'all did the the billboard, the shoot, man. That that looked crazy. All y'all together. And definitely left y'all mark right now, letting them know that CMG is where it's going to be at, you know, from here on out. Uh, do y'all kind of feel like, you know, that label right now that's kind of similar to maybe what, you know, Rockefeller did back in the day, maybe a cash money or no limit. Uh, do y'all feel like this is it for this generation, this era? Yeah, uh, you can most definitely put it in that category. You can do that. You can most definitely do that. Copy that. And bag now you uh we're heading over a year now since Gangsta's Pain. Uh and that was an amazing album, at, you know, in its own right. Um yo, like these records still hit like they just came out yesterday. Uh no, nah, for sure. Yeah, but this you, is that, that goes back to show you like even when like what you think, like even when with like just the OGs in the game and the legendary artists and people and hip hop, they still perform and they hits today. You know what I'm saying? They still perform and they classics and everything today. You know what I'm saying? So a year, I don't even feel like a year is even enough time. I feel you, you feel me? So it's just like for them just me to still be performing it is just special. Like that you that you able to be you able to be able to do that and you still not done. Like you you, want, you get what I'm saying? No, for real. And I saw that fans, you know, they they want another project. Uh you you telling them, you know, the the worth, uh the weight is go, it's gonna be worth the wait. Uh is is how deep are you into this next project right now? 
Um, I'm like 85% done. 85% done. It's just like it's every time I don't want I don't never want to stay I'm not content with nothing. So it's like every time you hear me and every time I deliver something to you, I want you to be able to receive something different. I don't want you to be able to like, okay, this is the every of course, like everybody, because they'll be in your comments and saying, oh, you sound the same on this and you sound, they say that about everybody, but uh, you you supposed to sound like that. That's your lane. That's your but you also can have moments on your album where you switch it up, like, okay, boom, this was different from him. It was different for him, like, but he he, he aced the test. You feel me? Like, so that's really what I'm doing, and that's, that's what my focus is right now. I'm just taking the production to another level of, of trap and what I've been doing. But even even though right now, like, it's, you can't even you can't even say what's the hit right now, bro. Like the stuff right. that's just getting off and going right. viral right now, you don't you be like this. A, like this is a hit. This is the hottest song in the club right here, and I'm doing all this in the studio. Like, come on, like you feel me? Yeah. So it's like really, you just gotta be you, do you, say what you wanna say. It's no limitations on nothing no more. The world toxic. The world fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> bro. I, like I respect that because I, I feel like. I feel like we gotta we gotta feel for that on the on the Gangsta's Pain album because like one of my favorite records off there was the Joan Pharrell and that sounded different like exactly. that that was a vibe though yeah a vibe but it's different for me you feel me but yeah. like I said I aced it just for somebody even like you to say you like it you feel me like I did good in that area so I'm gonna exercise it. even with songs like Why Keisha like Why Keisha I mean uh it opened up doors it opened up mm -hmm. doors for me to be like okay I can go in that lane I can play in it melodic feel you know what i'm saying I, I ain't know i can do that i ain't know the world was gonna accept it so but they ate it up there you go bro and, and i remember back uh last time we talked i mean we talked about when you did the j cole record and how like today it still sounds like a record that can come out come out right now and that you wish you would have held on to it a little longer is there somebody that you're talking to maybe of that caliber you know that you know you've had conversations with and that you're looking to possibly get in the studio with and kind of drop for a future project or drop a record for a future project uh no, nah, I rock with a lot of people, but I wouldn't I wouldn't say that. I wanna say that right there. But I rock with a lot of artists and I'm, and I'm willing to work with who wanna work with me. You know what I'm saying? But right now I feel like I I feel like I wanna get a world all of me right now. If I have some features on my album, it's cool, but I really don't wanna make it about that. You feel right. what I'm saying? Not respect, man. Yep. Moneybag Yo here is Joey Franchise and uh, you know. <laughs> Man, you know, Gotti's built quite an empire, quite a label with CMG, but he's also allowed to like let these like let you guys kind of grow and do your own thing. Uh, what are some gems that Gotti has shared with you? I mean, I know you got you, you know you got the bread gang, uh, and you know your your label on deck. Like, what are some gems that Gotti's maybe kind of you know helped you with or like kind of influenced you on? Uh, really, just 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 knowing the goal, knowing what you're trying to do, like. And knowing what you're trying to accomplish, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody wants to have artists and everybody wants to feel like they're in control and they and they doing this and that, but everybody don't have the same mental process or the mental thought, like where you going with it, how you want to do it, how big you want it to be, you know what I'm saying? So he just he, you know, he 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 got in my head with that and just, you know, just example. Like you might have somebody, you might have a label. So you might have, I'm, I'm gonna put this example out there. You might have two labels, right? They trying to give you a label deal. One, one, one label, they got the most money, but they ain't gonna put in the most work. Then you got a then you got a label that, then you got a label that's gonna put in the work, but they 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 bag and like the other one. So which one you gonna take? Which one do you see your like how far you see yourself going? You know what I'm saying? Do you is you just in it for the quick book? Do you wanna get the money or do you wanna? Take your label, like like you said, cash money, no limit. You want to take it to the top. You feel me? Like what what you trying to do? Copy that, yeah. man. That, yeah, respect that, my G. Like, I mean, and it's showing like too. Like, I mean, you 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 a boss, so you get to your bag too. You got your label situation popping. Now, before I let you go, I gotta ask. You know, I know you're a big Grizzlies fan. I know John ja Morant is that dude right now in the league. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You you blessed him with a chain. Has he ever like come at you and be like, "Hey man, I think he got some bars. Maybe want to jump in the studio." <laughs> nah, nah, he ain't never he ain't never came like that. John Morant, he's just a good energy, a good vibe, he's a good dude. You know what I'm saying? Um, the chemistry. Matter of fact, he had just uh, well, he ain't booked me. He asked me to book me, but I told him I'd come through for free for him. I just left Charlotte. He had a party. You know what I'm saying? Cause they get ready to start the season back. 
he had a party, you know what I'm saying? I flew down there. Well, he flew me down there and um and we just kicked it. The chemistry was good and it's you know, that's family. That's dope, man. Where you see the Grizzlies next year, man? Ch championship we're going, of bus? We're going, we're going bigger. We're going bigger this time. We're going a little further this time. That's what I like to hear, man. Well, yo, money back. Appreciate you taking the time out, my brother. I know you get into it. Uh, we'll talk soon, man. Out here in Tampa, we gotta yep. get you out here real soon. Gotta connect, all right? All right, love, bro. Love, bro.